How's it going everybody? This is Merlin. I'm going to go through the Adobe Photoshop app. I just showed you what it looks like in the App Store. Whether you have an iPhone or whether you have an Android, you can see right here with this P looking icon, Photoshop Express. It's great. You just tap onto the icon. It takes you right to the pictures that you want to use. You can go through your whole roll, pick out whatever shot you think needs help. Now I picked out an example down here because this is a pretty dark shot. This is my beautiful wife and her lovely friend Diana. Now they're in Hawaii and as you can see here there's a lot of backlighting back there. It would have been nice to use a fill flash in there. But in this case what you do is just tap a photo you would like to improve. When you tap on it again you'll see the icon come up. This is from the Adobe Photoshop app. And then tap the bottom right hand corner down here where it looks like a pencil. That's going to download the photograph. Now you've got all the icons and the interface up. And we're going to start from the upper left and work our way to the right. So let's go ahead and tap the upper left hand corner. I'll make sure the focus here is correct. And it brings down crop. Tap crop. And you'll see here a little square comes up that's interchangeable. So you can make it fit any way you want. What I would suggest to do is just completely cut out the backlighting. And make it nice and centered so you can move it around. Maybe go a little bit tighter here. And when you're done, if you like what you see, hit OK, and it zooms it in. Now go to the next icon over, this one right here. You'll see Exposure, Saturation, Tint, Black and White, Contrast. Hit Exposure. And now here's where a real cool secret about the Adobe Photoshop app comes in. As you can see here where it was, as you run your finger across, it's all touch-based. And you can see the correction of the photograph just right there alone is fantastic. So up on the top it tells you how much you're increasing it by 50% or 60% or what have you. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK when I like that. If you want to do it double, you have to go back, hit it again, and you can add even more depending on how dark the photo is. Now go back to the icon one more time and you go to saturation this time. Saturation is basically in, it's enhancing the color that's already there. But just make sure you don't overdo it because you can make people look kind of orange or reddish. So it's a beautiful Hawaiian sunset. It's going to be golden. Add a little bit there. When you like what you see, hit OK. Go back to it again. This time you're going to go down to the contrast choice, the contrast. And as you tap onto it, you can do it this way or you can run your finger. But as you add contrast, it makes the whites whiter, the blues bluer. Makes all the colors a little bit nice and dark. So hit OK when you're done with that. Uh, the next one I don't have time to get into right now, but Sketch is very cool because it makes it look like a cartoon. If you max that out, you can see it does all kinds of funny stuff. It, those are good with kids. Um, I would you know, We're going to skip that right now, but you got Sharpen, Reduce Noise, all those different choices. But I'm going to go all the way to the right, and Effects and Borders. You can scroll across here, and, and you can see different effects, like it's got the four square puts the photograph into four different color squares. You got vignette which takes the background out of focus but you gotta have a certain crop for that. So I'm gonna cancel that out and we're gonna go back to it one more time and this time we're gonna go to borders and you can scroll across the top and get a lot of choices of different borders. Now, of course you can buy some if it has a plus sign up on the top. See the flowers around there? You can buy these through uh, Adobe uh, I guess through the App Store, so you'd have different choices if it's got a plus sign up there. If not, it's free, so you can just pick one of the ones it comes with. This is a scratch border, if you like that, hit OK on the bottom right. And then you can go back one more time, put a border around the border. They don't tell you that. So I'd go back, get the different border this time, like the nice square one there. There, now you have a border within the border. When you're finished and you see the big improvement, once again, go down to OK, hit that, and then you're going to have this download looking signal there, that icon. Go ahead and tap that. It's going to go right back into your camera roll. Saved forever. You can put it up on your Facebook page and do all kinds of cool stuff with it. So that is how you use the Adobe Photoshop Express app right there. For everything iPhone, check out my website, smartphonenirvana.com. Thanks a lot.